If you are coming to an office for any reason, whether you're renewing or replacing a license, getting a new one, or if you've changed your name or address, you need to bring certain documents with you. Basically, everyone who visits an office needs proof of three things. Primary identification, social security number, and two proofs of your physical address. You may also need proof of a name change. Good afternoon, ma'am. Are you renewing your license? No, my identification card, actually. And I must confess, I'm just a little bit late, a little beyond the renewal day. Happens more than you think, ma'am. I've been seeing you've been studying the new document requirements. I call the customer service number and they walk me right through all the steps. Had to get an official birth certificate from Nebraska. Well, I'm glad we could help you with that, ma'am. I see we have your birth certificate, your social security card, voter registration, your insurance bill with your street address. Good. Anything else? No? Let's see. If we were doing a driver's license, we'd be required to do a vision test. I see. Fine. I'm sure you do, ma'am. I was just talking out loud. Everyone who renews a driver's license is required to do a vision test, but you're doing an ID card. Well, I could pass. Hola. Hello. Hi. This is my first driver license in the U.S. Uh, I've already passed the written test and the driving test, and I'll be official. Well, congratulations. Did you have any trouble gathering the documents? No, no, not at all. The website is great. Okay, great. And I see that you have your permanent resident card there as your primary identification. Yes. All right, great. And payment by personal check? Perfect. Now if you'll step right over here, we'll go get your photo taken and we'll be all finished. That's it? No, they're going to shoot me. Expired IDs are serious business. Well, smile big, Grandma. That's how I want to remember you. Okay. Uh, I, I know I brought it. It has to be there. Uh... It's okay. Let's sort through everything. I've got your permanent resident card, your social security card, and your W-2 is proof of residency. I just need one more document with your street address on it. Uh, CC, I know uh, my electric bill. It was in my folder. Um, hold on. OK. Mrs. Smith. Yes, hello. I'm pretty sure I have everything. Okay. Hmm. It looks like your maiden name used to be Kinshu. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I learned to joke about it long ago. It's Kinchlo. Can you see why I'm married to Smith? Uh, so the deadly picture is done? Not yet. But I'm next, so. Oh, what is that? That's someone's utility bill. They're gonna need that. Oh yes, I knew it. My bill, you found it. You're wonderful. Thank you. I told you I could see just fine. <laughs> Here it is, my second proof address. Oh, Lovely great. lady found it. Oh, good Samaritan. Well, that's great. We're all set. And you're paying cash? Yes. Okay. Um, I just need to go get some change. Okay. You. I'll be right back. All right, Mrs. Smith, you are set to go. We accept most major credit cards, cash or check. Okay, here's my Discover card. Thank you very much. Here's your change, and thank you very much. You're going to head over to the camera for your photo and make sure when the license prints that you check all the information to make sure it's accurate. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, so don't tell me the photo's next, right? <laughs> okay. A successful visit for Enid, Carlos, and Hannah. Using the Gather Go Get resources, your visit can be as easy and successful. 
All you have to do is remember to gather, go, and get. Learn what documents you need to bring and which ones meet the requirements on the Gather Go Get website. You'll need a primary identification, like an official birth certificate, a valid U.S. passport, or a green card. It's important to note that some proofs of identification cannot be accepted, like a military ID or an expired license or ID card. You'll also need a proof of Social Security number, like the Social Security card, a W-2 form, or a 1099 income form. Your proof of Social Security will need to list your current legal name, the one you want on your new card. The last of your documents will be true proofs of residential address, like a car registration, utility bill, insurance policy or bill, or your voter registration card. Remember, you need to bring two of those documents and just the envelopes addressed don't count. Going to a driver license office is easy. You can renew your card up to 18 months before your expiration date. Keep an eye out for a renewal notice in the mail. It will outline what documents you need and how to skip the trip. Visit the website or call the helpline to find out where your closest driver license office is located with maps and contact information. Some driver license offices have appointments available. When you're making your personal checklist on the Gather Go Get website, click on the Schedule an Appointment button to check if your local office offers appointments. Make sure that when you go to the office, you have all the documents in hand. After gathering your documents and going to a driver license office, getting your new license or identification card is easy. Call ahead to the office you're visiting to check what payment methods they accept and how much your new card will cost. With a customer service number, I had no problem gathering my documents for my new ID card. But if you want to use the computer, you can go online. The website in Espanol was easy to understand. It even told me where to go to get my license. Using the name change wizard made getting my new driver's license simple. Thank you for watching. We want your experience to be just as successful as these Floridians. So remember, gather your documents, go to a driver license office, get your new card. If you have questions or need more information, you can access it online at gathergoget.com. The website also has the information in Spanish and Creole. You can contact us by phone too. We're happy to help.